Hello, Internet, and today I just finished an exam and I'm feeling bad because I haven't done it tomorrow. But that's not gonna stop me from absolutely nothing. That's the one word that comes into my mind when I look at Milim. But yes, today will be all about Milim. I am not late at all. It's not like I've already like been so late that Milim's banner is already like halfway through. I am on time. I'm like the model of content creators right now, yo. But anyways, this is my Milim. I am running speed on her. Some speed's not, it's not really quick, it's not opener, but I would need her to nuke, you know, one unit, but I would need her to also take the first turn. Uh, not, not the first turn, maybe the second or third turn. If she takes the first turn, she probably doesn't do enough damage. Like, from what I've seen already, she doesn't do too much on the first hit, unless, you know, if, if the enemy's just a uh, squishy landing. In, say, RTA. Oh, speaking of RTA, look at this. <laughs> What's that? I am in crap rank, baby. Apparently, a lot of people thought I was absolutely trash in the game. They are correct. But hey, I mean, I, I, I was not trash enough that I cannot get to Emperor, okay? This this validates that I that, that my gears are okay. All right, here we have Milim. We've got a book. I want the Dragon Knuckles, but I realize that she just dies if she doesn't evade. So given that Dragon Knuckles doesn't give evasion, she only has 20 here. And she gets, you know, an extra... 50 here, so it's about like 70. So it's like a Rylet evasion after she does this 3, which sucks because it's not gonna evade. <laughs> Here's how the game works. If you're not using a green violet, you don't evade. That's how it works. I got some good, you know, offensive stats right there. Some people go for sort of a bruiser route, like, you know, sub 10k HP, sort of like a Rylet, and they want to, you know, bank on her evasion and then consume this, you know, all focused to activate Dragon Buster. But for that to happen, she needs to evade. And not only she has to evade, she has to take three total turns. You only gain two focus from this. And you only gain one focus from this. So they want Dragon Knuckle to proc so that she counters and, you know, gain focus that way. And she can, you know, take a turn and gain focus this way as well. But usually when you hit Milim once, you just die. That's like Bruiser Gamer. I'm no Bruiser Gamer, dude. I'm a Chad Cleaver that copies others draft. Today we have a war against Zay Nyans. If that Z was G, then would have been a perfect name. Ha! Ah, no crab border. Yo, I'm gonna win. But I don't have Landy too. I would love to show like... Her ability to just ignore stealth, but I guess I can't. All right, round one. We're gonna use someone we haven't been using for a while. Arbiter Vildred. Who would have thought? I've seen the day where people don't actually pick Vildred as much. But it happens now. I got a bajillion amount of AoEs, and they have this thing, which is just gonna get smacked. They have a furry, and then there's just one child. Like, you can't beat two childs with one. What do you think this is? Two girls, one cup. Round two. Now, I guess I, I wanted to, like, show Milim against Landis with Guardian Light, but... Well, this guy doesn't have Landy with Guardian Light, so... This works. She actually heals up on her S1 too. Like, that's... You don't have to have a Light Steel set. So I guess oh, she does evade. Is wow. Oh. So I guess she does do well against like even even Tisarin. All right, RB. He procced it. She. Well, it didn't crit though. Oh come on, dude. It's not. It's not like I could have given like a hundred crit. Wait, what, you, what, what are you talking about? I need someone to kill my RB before they kill my May Chloe. I swear to God, don't you dare. All right, just do that. Oh yeah. And you counter me. Oh, damn. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Shit. All right, all right, this will kill the RB, but this isn't good. My RB don't... This will probably like the revive buff instead of the RB thing. Is it okay? It should be okay if I hit Stene. It's that easy. Let's go. Oh, fuck. All right, don't... Don't... Don't say where are you. Come on. Oh, we are so gonna die. You better gap right here, right now. Okay, we're... Absolutely screwed. This will kill Stene. This won't kill the other thing. I need to stun it. Shit, I didn't stun it. Oh, you're gonna hit Charlotte out of nowhere. What the? Well, thank you, dude. Why, why did you target Charlotte out of nowhere, though? That's why you don't put a furry beside a child. Don't you know that childs are, I don't know, allergic to fur? All right, here we go. Here, here, here's the, here's the, here, here's the cool part. First of all, we have Villain Sprite. She looks so freaking cute. And second of all, you are about to face your demise. Let's go, Opsig. The support unit that just one taps things. Right, this would disappear. Now we do as three, push him back. My plan kind of stops there. From that point on, it's kind of like a, kind of like a, you know, just, I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess I could, yo, I could sober and grab myself an extra turn. Can I? Yeah, I can, I can. I can kill t right here, right now. So yeah, if you're using a speed build, book is really helpful. All I gotta do is to do this. This would proc- Oh my god, if you killed there. This would proc the stealth. You, you saw there, she proc the stealth. But my Milamai got rid of the stealth. That means I get to Dragon Buster. Not Dragon Buster. I, whatever this skill is. 
and murder you. Oh yeah, and I extinct her too. She it's a shame that her S3 does not have- uh, Exactly. She, if you're not using Violet, she's just not gonna evade. It's a shame her S3 does not have, like, any animation. She only has animation with Dragon Buster. It's, it's a shame, but oh well. I mean, her, her sprite's already over at the top. She has even less garments than even some hentai games that I used to play. Correct that, that I am playing. Well, I guess I could double sober into Dragon Buster. Like, like not double sober. I could sober once, S1. And then do it again, I'll heal back to full, and then I'll Dragon Buster. Oh, come on! Why did you die, dude? Oh, that was gonna be so sick, too. This guy has a champion frame. <laughs> ah, not crab. Well, I mean, in this season, there's not even, like, crab rank doesn't even exist yet, I guess. Well, there is a landy. I'm hoping this is, a uh, you know, Dragon Buster... And no, no, it's stealth landing. Why do I why do I keep saying Dragon Buster, dude? There's this guy. I don't like I don't like this. Round one. This will be a spectacle. Now, I don't think a lot of people do this, but with Milim, you don't have to use S1 to gain your full focus. You can still proc the Dragon Buster even if you're S3 and get the final two focus, right? So if I bring a team with three books, I get to sober with Milim three times. I'm pretty sure I can take three turns and use S1 on Milim, get three focus, and then do S3. Get two focus and instantly proc the Dragon Buster. I'm pretty sure that can work. So if I bring a team like this, triple book, I should be just sober a lot with Villip. Probably kill off Landy. And if even if it's a guiding line Landy, it don't matter. I'll just, you know, destroy it. And I have increased hit chance on Milim too. It's like a plus 20 hit chance with Milim's eye. So if you miss everything and you solo me, then I will be shocked. Milim might die here though. There's, there's a crowd there. Uh... We're gonna believe, I guess. Round two. Now, against a team like this, it's pretty easy. I don't even need Violet here. He's, he's just here for me to prove a point where Violet don't evade while Violet evades everything. If I'm up against this team where there's a Ram, a tank, and a Violet, all you have to do is to kill the Violet somehow first. Uh, the best in Sly is probably a Crow. Crow plus whatever threat, kill the Violet, and then you just instantly win with this green one because Ram can't hit him, and Carmen's a Crab, but not Emperor kind of Crab. It's like, it's like a rancid dead Crab that you find in the coast of... Antarctica. And here we go. I don't really want to lose Millip now, but I guess I have to just just to see. Yeah, look at that. That was Guiding Light, right? That was Guiding Light and that was a speed landing too. So this thing's gonna just disappear. So I don't really care. And I just realized it's Dragon Eye and <laughs> Millim Eye. Whatever. We'll just over here. Pop one. And I can land some dual attacks. Sure. <laughs> well, okay. I don't have to hit the landing anymore. I can just spend the rest of my sober hitting you. And I hit you once. I self attack buff too, yo. I can do it again. But do I want to do it again? If I don't do it again, I cannot see the Dragon Buster thing. But if I do it again, I'm gonna proc the Dragon Buster with the S3 and Crowl might, you know, be hit too low by C Dom and uh, the other girl. I kind of don't want that to happen. But it's gonna look so good. All right, you know what? I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna S1 on Crowl and I'm gonna hit him. Or dual attack. Well, that works. <laughs> I'm about to wipe. I'm about to wipe them with Minim alone. I'll hit the Crowl with S3. Crowl will de disintegrate. I'll gain two focus. I'll get Dragon Buster. With Dragon Buster, I'll kill Landy. And I'll kill Ryla because I'm gonna hit them both. Here we go. And boom. Do we hit? We do, we do hit. We do hit. There we go. Extinction as well. And into the Dragon Buster. And here's the animation. Oh, it looks good. Her pants really just feel like falling off now. But yeah, look at that. 10k on each. No evasion from the Ryla, which proves my, which proves my point where Ryla don't evade, but Violet does. But how about that? That was sick. Uh, yo. All right. I can, I can see how she's like a, a proper threat because you never know when she's going to like actually hit you. Well, my, my Ryla debated. She. Oh my god, Rem. And this is gonna not hit my Rylet again? Oh, well, let's go. It's a 14k Rem. It's like, you know, gets one shot by a green Violet, even though I have like 16k HP. It's all fair in games. All right, this goes. I hear a dual attack and I got defense broken. Oh shit. Ah, ah, you're about to die. Send him home. Send this Violet back to where Luluka came from. Oh yeah. How did you not die from that? I don't understand this game. All right, just... Do that and hit the violet. Your life. There we go. This will bring him down a lot. Nothing. And at this point, I already won. All I have to do is to you nuke him again. There we go. This would well. absolutely kill, even on a miss. And he can't counter if he's dead. And at this point, I already won. It's just about whether or not Violet makes out of this alive. I guess not. <laughs> if you one shot, you're honestly way too broken. You know that, Violet. And you don't one shot. Well, you would kill. Except. 
Oh, how do you always find a way to die? It's inspiring. Well, I mean, at this point, I'm pretty one. That's what I mean. Like, when I see red and violet, all I have to do, kill the violet. I can lose a couple of units. It don't matter because I have, like, you know, other units. At that point, it's Rem with a tank that doesn't do much against a Violet, while it keeps countering Rem, and you know, there's, there's just zero chance of them winning. Well, I guess you can only do this one, so you kind of only have one crowd. Oh my god, I want to do the million thing again. That, was, that felt so good. Dude, this guy's like new, and he just got the ball, and he just said whatever keep route means. Alright, this one's solid. I'd like to see this. Alright, round one. This should be pretty simple. It's the same thing. You kill off this, and then Flan and Washer Street can die. It doesn't matter, and at that point, all I have to do is to kill off the Bologna. And unless this is RTA, but usually just defeat this guy. So yeah, the, the, the point I'm trying to tell you is Violet's just broken. He's not broken. He's broken when he evades. He's not when he's not evading. And he's just a really shit character. It just works like that. I don't understand why the game wants... Ugh. If I have to rant about Violet one more time, I swear, Felipe. Round two is the same thing. I really like that. I, I don't think it's effective too much, but... You know, there's a lot of your banking on. You're banking on hitting a, an ice, you're banking on hitting violet. But I love it because why? They are all waifus as hell and this thing's just the cutest thing. I get to see her pants. All right, here we go. Okay, should be pretty easy. All I have to do is this. I've got a tap of and crit damage both, so very likely that I'll kill this carrot. If I don't, I will dig a hole and put my... Never mind. Thank God I didn't get to finish that. All right, see Lona goes. This would kill my whole team. Guess not. That thing didn't kill me, yo. Okay, at this point, it's pretty easy. It's it's not even it's not even a challenge anymore. Kill off the blow, eh? <laughs> Literally, the damage share would hurt him so much too. It would probably hurt even more rather than me just missing on him with S3. Right, so unless he kills the flan here, or else I'm just fine. Actually, wow, I'm in a lot better shape than I thought. Even watch a Shree survive? How do you let my watch a Shree survive? Right, just strip that. Ah, oh, I get this again. All right, I'll just do this then. He'll probably, yeah, he can't even hit Watcher Shree anymore. He, he's forced to hit Violet. So I'll just, yeah, do that. Just crit him once and it's done. And he can't even hit me. And every time he does, I counter and I crit him back. Yeah, Violet. I don't even know why I bother remembering what's more, more effective than the other. Like, why Why do you remember like how RGB relates to each other? It's just Violet. He works against fire units anyway. Next fight, this is fun. This is very fun, very dangerous, and overall very not fun. I didn't see if she had Guiding Light, but it's likely that she had. Even if she has or not, it don't matter. Like, Midden can just take care of that. So, I think I can go ahead and hit the crowd. Perfect, yeah. And there we go. <laughs> the miss is bound to happen sometimes, right? Well, is it gonna happen again? Oh shit, it happened again. Oh, but what about the third time though? Yeah, there we go. We hit him once now. Now we get three focus. And the fourth and fifth one's gonna come with this. Dragon Fear? That's your skill's name? That's so cheesy. All right, we're just gonna hit the Violet here. If we do, we don't. We miss shit. Well, we're, we still have a shot. We can, we can Dragon Buster right here. And shit, that still hurt a lot though, even on the miss. So this Dragon Buster goes, this will absolutely give seed on the turn. And I crit on the Violet, there we go, that's gone. And this should be easy now. I love this team, this team works. It works. You just kill them, that's, that's... You just kill them, that's literally what you do, you just kill them. I could run this in a cleave, I guess. I could ban Billion and then run the cleave like this, but... It AOL would just destroy me. But yeah, there we go. Oh gosh darn it, I love that. Alright, so that was Milim in all her glory. And in all her sexy. You cannot be legal when you have less clothes. And gosh darn Rin, I tell you. I would say the best way to use Milim, either you get attack buff with herself with Soberman first, or you have some buffer first, and then do Dragon Fear. So yeah, I, I do believe the best move is just full speed and you know the evasion if it happens it just has to happen like a couple of times you know what i mean with high speed you lap a lot you do the dragon dive you get sobering as well so all i have to do is to survive until you get the dragon buster and usually it should be the end when that happens the bad part about her is that you can't really draft her against like hardcore bruiser comps which is what landy and violet are in she kind of has a lot of thing going on that would cut her someone like rem when rem's everywhere <laughs> but otherwise i think you should absolutely get her and in arena if you see like a violet or landy you can absolutely use her it's so good give it user box slots i wonder how that works shit i'm a gosh darn genius but yeah that is all for today leave a like enjoy subscribe to the channel have results of one of day this is a bit late because i had a lot of exams this is exam week and i think next week or the week after will be my last last week of any exams and that is finally when i'll like post a lot more weird stuff that, that i have in mind but yeah take care